Adjectives always agree with the noun that they modify in both gender and number. However, when they don't agree in definiteness, or when it's more ambiguous than that, we have different types of adjectival relationships. Our first type of relationship is called an attributive relationship. An attributive relationship would be something that describes right next to it. So, the good time, the happy boy. Attributive adjectives always follow the noun, and most importantly, they agree in gender, number, and definiteness. So, for in this example right here, hasus, hatov, notice that they are agreeing in definiteness. They both have the object on it. So, the horse, the good, or the good horse. Notice how also how the adjective is following the noun. If it does not agree in definiteness, that is what we call a predicate relationship. Predicate uh, adjectives can either precede or follow the noun, so it's important that we know that they are going to agree or not agree in definiteness. In this example right here, tov hasus, it's not agreeing in definiteness, so it's good, the horse, or in other words, good is the horse. These are what we call verbless sentences. Sometimes, however, it can be a little more ambiguous, it can be a little tricky if the uh, adjective is coming after the noun and there is no article. So in this example right here, sus tov, it could either be um, a horse is good or a good horse, and you'll have to use your judgment and your context for that. And then finally, we have substantive adjectives. which is basically an adjective that becomes a verb, that becomes substantiated. There, when there are no nouns next to the adjective for it to agree with, it's probably being used substantively. So when Jesus said, blessed are the blank, those are all substantive adjectives. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the meek, blessed are the blank, blessed are the substantive adjectives. So this example right here, where it's hatov, but there's nothing next to it, it just means the good, one, the good, but if it was plural, ha tovim, that would be the good ones.